Welcome to Matt's Out PC TV. And with us, we have uh, pluggable products and accessories. Now, what we've got here is we've got seven screens linked together, including hybrid, tablet, computer, whatever you want to call it. This is using Intel Graphics 4000. And this is the only computer that's using, and this is the only computer that's powering all these screens through one USB 3 uh, cable, which is capable of up to 5 gigabits per second. And this is used uh, by a third party device, which is by a company called Pluggable. And also, it wouldn't run with all just a 7 port, port without using the graphic adapters as well. So, we're using six graphic adapters. Three of which have been USB 3 and three of which are using USB 2. USB 2 is over here with them three screens over that side. And what it is, is I'm using, watching my videos off of three screens in full 1080p and streaming. On this side is USB 3. We've got websites open, we've got Word, and we've got like a, a graph of see, show you what's going on uh, with the activity. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to play these videos right now so you can see what I'm talking about. So, and you can see the sort of quality you get with USB 2 graphic adapters. Alright, so that's one video up. This is the second video up. And let's see, we get this third one up. This is the Wi Fi that's making it a bit like that. Should have done it connected it straight away because I have got a spare port there I could use a gigabit internet port and connected it straight in as you can see in USB uh, 2 you've got loads of activity going on everything's flashing now the videos are playing over there they're using USB 2 on this side USB 3 so I can show you um, basically um, what you get so you get uh, to connect to all this sort of thing up here you've got three USB 2 here Three USB um, ports here, USB three even. Um, we've got graphic adapters, which is DVI out, DVI out, DVI out. Uh, mini port, mini port, mini port, mini display ports, I should say. And we've got HDMI, and we've got DVI out, and then we've got another DVI out there as well. And this is all these cables are connected to USB three, which goes into this port, uh, which can actually charge your phone. You can charge Macs, um, Apple uh, phones, and tablets as well. They do everything pluggable do as accessories. As you can see, this is USB 2 playing the video at the moment on that side, and this is all going through Wi Fi. So if it's stuttering a bit, it's because of the Wi Fi, but I'm showing you the graphics, it's not pixelated or anything like that. USB 3, you can actually probably use it for gaming and stuff. As you can see, the Wi Fi keeps dropping up and down, up and down while I'm streaming these videos going along. Um, I'm going to stop these videos now so I can show you that um, you can just drag things across. But obviously in real world uh, results you would actually have your screens like that and then you'll have like three screens at the top so you can work with it unless that you have like a really big desk and you had wheels and you can just wheel from one side to the other because this is the sort of thing they use for stocks and everything like that. Uh, like stock markets, um, anything that you use those screens for. But this is what I'm saying with the graphic adapters I'm using one USB free port that this computer's only got it hasn't got anything else. Um, I've got loads of activities going on, just so I can show you exactly the sort of power that you can get. You imagine all of these were USB 3, so all this side was USB 3, and obviously these are USB 3 anyway. And the graphics you could have, you could have all these videos going at the same time. You can imagine surveillance cameras and all kinds of stuff going on. So there's a lot of information that can be read and received straight through this USB 3. Uh, by pluggable so you've got all the graphic adapters as well which do all their, um, their jobs right so you don't need any more graphics cards it basically takes the benefit from one graphics card and and it feeds it loads of information down one cable which is up to five gigabits per second and this is what you're seeing right now so on this side you also see my uh, website on that side I've split the screen down as well and I've got word over here and I've got a little graph showing you of, of like the percentage of the CPU it's using. Remember, this is only a Surface Pro uh, tablet PC, but it's running full Windows 8.1 on there. Uh, CPU is at 100%, and it runs at 1.75, 1.75 gigs, um, like normal speeds. And it's a quad-core processor, 
and the memory is running at I think 1066 megahertz DDR3 and we're using near enough all the memory there we've got like one um, well 10% of the memory left to do other tasks in the background hardly using anything with the solid state hard drive inside um, yeah this is what you're looking at right now this is this is what USB 3 is capable of and one computer you know and after and the thing is I've got one more USB port port here yeah so I can connect anything I want in here I'll show in my other videos I've shown you that you can actually use um, a display uh, port by pluggable which you can connect your infinite cable into the back you can um, connect another two screens going in there VGA, HDMI and DVI out and you can also connect another two USB 3's So you can connect all your USB 2's in there, all your USB 3's, obviously USB 2 being more old school and USB 3 being new school, um, so you can go up to 5 gigabits per second with obviously USB uh, 3 and this is why we're capable of, um, well on this side you can't really see any videos because I haven't put any videos on there, but you can imagine if the graphics come out so well on USB 2, Imagine how they will come out in USB 3 considering USB 3 is 10 times more powerful than USB 2. Um, so, what I'm going to do is I'm going to stop this video now. The video is over that side, I should say. And I've done where my mouse is. Where is it? Where is it? Where is it? No, it's that way. Yeah, in real world results, what you would normally do, you would normally have um, your screens, as I said, above you. So if you had a little desk, you can have all your screens, like three screens at the top and three screens at the bottom. Uh, if you'd like in a stock market or whatever, you can have them all going across there. So that's pretty cool. Alright, so I need to change the, stop these videos now because you can see the power of it. And I've got the background moving every 10 seconds as well. Because I wanted to show you like real, real world results showing you that everyone normally has everything on at the same time and even if you don't at least you know now don't you and I'm going to turn this one off if I can see there it is right. so and then we click that off I'm going to keep the graph up there I'm going to drag um, this folder from this hybrid computer all the way down to number 7 computer uh, 7 screen I should say so here we go, it's going through, all the way through, and this will be a lot easier with a mouse. And there you have it, you can, you can do exactly what you want on um, any screen. It's got the power, same graphics and everything. So with USB 3, it's the way forward of having, uh, and also having graphic adapters as well as USB 2. So if you're not too much inclined to have, say you want to play games and stuff you could try using USB 3 and see what kind of graphics you can get by USB 3 by playing the games um, you can check the frame rates out and stuff like that but with USB 2 you've already noticed that you can play 1080p videos at 4 HD and you can have all this running at the same time now this is only a tablet PC so it shows you how far and how far and powerful tablets are coming in, uh, into play and within year 2013 now you also have um, this comes this runs at uh, 1.7 gigabits per second and it's got a memory um, of it's got 4 gig of memory which is running at either 1066 or 1333 megahertz DDR3 and the Wi-Fi is just normal and this is what you get so after I finished I can just take this lead out close it down and go
that's the good thing about it. So if you like this video and you thought this was helpful, um, or you want to know a little bit more about the pluggable USB 3 adapters or USB 2 or the 7 port USB 3 or the screens because obviously also I'm trying to show you as well I haven't set the screen up as well you can set all the screens up perfectly there's no like um, screens going to be out of place or anything like that I've just done it so I can show you really quickly what this, what this computer and with all these graphic adapters are capable of so as I said, if you liked this video and you thought it was helpful, um, comment and let me know if you want to know any more about this sort of stuff or comment and just let me know if the video was okay for you. And well, don't forget to um, check out Max Out PC TV Facebook page for all the higher resolution pictures so you can go closer to it or go to my uh, Max Out PC TV um, webpage and have a look there. And thanks for watching Max Out PC TV.